say that can I? We're on holidays and we are off to the Simpson Desert. So we just left Adelaide. We got through a bunch of roadworks that took forever. Yep. And now we are finally clear of the traffic. So we've got two and a half weeks off and we are going to explore the upper end of South Australia and dip across some of the borders as well. What's the itinerary? Head north. Yes. Where are we? We're about we're like 20 k's out of Red Hill. And I think it's called? Red Hill. Red Hill. Close. Uh, itinerary. Port Augusta. Been down a trap? Oh, I'm not sure where we're staying tonight. Maybe no. Marina or Manbor Station. Not really sure. We yeah. left a bit later than we planned. Hit the track and see what all these conditions are about because so many different boards. Um, the, the Big Red Bash is on yes. 5th to the 7th and Big Red's closed from Sunday to next Saturday so depending on how we work it we might get in time for Big Red to be open which would be good mm -hmm. otherwise we'll have to try
up can. No, to anyone buying a Colorado. Yes. The seats are awful. Update the seats. <laughs> stations here so it's ten dollars a night we've already filled in the slip so it's all in there envelopes and then just slot it in there Mernamora homestead so we're doing the bush camping amenities it looks like um, which apparently they have a long drop be fine for us tonight and we have the place to ourselves which looks awesome so just in time well oh, speak of the devil there's another car coming so we'll show you our setup shortly so we do have the place to ourselves A long drop there, gorgeous backdrop. It looks like a lot of people were going down to the other site nearer to the station. For one night, we don't mind being here amongst the trees and the peace of quiet. But yeah, seems to be okay. <laughs>
So we've just made a stop at Aruna Dam and it is beautiful. Again, there's rangers in the background. The track was pretty easy. You can see obviously two-wheel drive can come in. But a very nice little hidden spot. Pretty cool. Hello. <laughs> Some water activities. Some information about the wildlife and the indigenous connections. So the dam wall length, which we'll show you in a moment, says here is 230 metres with a wall height of 24 metres. Wow. So I think from here the dam is across here. going down the wrong I am. There is a pathway. I've just decided to take the harder route down. Okay. So peaceful. I was just reading on wiki camps and Steve, another um, John's brother who's travelling with us, he mentioned that they've put some fish in the dam. Um, some perch and trout, I think one of the wiki camps people said. Not that they're always right, but um, yes, rumour has it that they have put some fish in here that you can actually fish in, which is pretty cool. And you can obviously go in canoes. I think that's the other direction. I won't walk down there, but there is an area where you can canoe. So I've just got to the bridge part, the dam part. Bit of information here. Built in 19 or completed in 1955 and this is just outside Lee Creek so you can't walk all the way through but I'm going to see if we can get a bit of a view oh yes oh wow look at that Definitely worth the stop. The views are just gorgeous. You can see in there. Actually very still. Beautiful. You might want to bring your own. <laughs> Looks like she hasn't been used in uh, a while. <laughs> but this, it's so peaceful.
Wow, it's huge too. Kilo liters or mega liters or whatever the big one is. Okay. I only know that because I read it on the sign. <laughs> and some, yeah, apparently, yeah, there is some, there are some fish. Yeah, according to the thing, you can fish on that side. Oh, on the, the opposite uh, side, okay. Yeah, yeah obviously, because it's a bit. Yeah, you were thinking. Here, but it's a lot, lot flatter down. Yeah, right. So, how do you get over there? Oh, I'm making with some tracks or something. Mm -hmm. And canoeing? It was canoeing mm. or something. Oh, that'd be the tracks on the way in. There was a few that shot off to the right, which I would imagine probably come in and allow some form of access, but it looks pretty steep. It does. You don't see no visible roads or tracks, so. No. But there must be some. Awesome. It'd be great getaway. So definitely a place to stop and have a look. As I said, the track wasn't too bad. A few rocks, but definitely manageable. You can't camp here, but I would recommend it. Very, very peaceful. <laughs> So we wanted to get in before apparently it gets quite full. Um, camping fees are up at the entrance. Let's have a look how much I think, we think it's $10 a car or $10 a night. Alright, so $20, $20 a car or 
$10 per person. Okay. So, looks like they've got firewood for sale. We managed to bring some with us, so we're okay for firewood. But looking at it, from what I've been told, there are obviously toilets. Apparently there are areas of showers. You just have to heat it up in the morning. And we actually just came from the bakery, which will show some footage of that after. And got some pamphlets on some of the walking trails. And I'm just walking over here. So there's lots of ruins. So we can see here. Okay, the short circuit crosses the creek. One kilometer long. Long circuit is 2.3 kilometers long. So that's pretty reasonable. So we'll probably do that this afternoon. It's a beautiful day. It started off with seven degrees when we left near the Flinders Ranges. And now the sun is out and it's actually really, really nice. So, definitely recommend the spot. Nice green patches of um, sites. Most of them come with a nice big wooden um, table. Fire pit. And bins everywhere. So, pretty pretty good place so we will rest up here for a bit go for some walks this afternoon explore what Farina has to offer i uh, already enjoying, uh, enjoyed I should say their lovely pies which were really nice and crispy on the top so they were definitely worth the line up inside <laughs> So this is the amenities block. You've got some showers and some toilets. They're flushing toilets, which is good. So from what I hear, this is how you heat up the shower. With no hot water, light small fire in the donkey outside. Water should be hot 20 to 30 minutes. Do not allow to boil. That looks like a lot of fun. I think that's a job for John to do. Donkey's old Aussie water heater. So, definitely do it a bit different out here, but that's okay. Better than no shower at all. So, on this side, there's lots of other sites. There's quite a few spread out across, and it actually goes way back. You can see over way over in the distance there so a really nice spot particularly on days like this there's a slight breeze lots to see in Farina with the ruins so definitely a goer it's like two old men having an afternoon nap she life's tough oh. Life's tough, isn't it?
recognition of residents of Farina who served our country. There are lots of soldiers. And you get a big over. Wow! Over side of the park, which really puts it into perspective how spread out it is. There's us. Yeah. All right, we'll go check out these ruins next. We just got to Farina Ruins and we just walked from the campsite. How far was the walk from the campsite? Yeah. Which was very easy and there was some wells along the way, some historical wells you could look at. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at a few of them. Approaching, what was this one? The police station? Uh, I don't know. They're all down here, so not more like George. 11th Street, so I'm guessing they had at least 11th Street. Oh. Huh. Gee, for what well, 1800s, how well they built things back then. And how slapdash uh, houses are built these days. They wouldn't last. Oh, cop shop. Found all little bits and pieces. What do they say when there's an earthquake? Always stand in. No, in the fireplace or in the uh, doorways. And look, because all the doorways. A solid. It's insane. read the map and these are the cells where the bad people were locked up. Not ma 
patch left of that. But gee, it would have taken a while to build. Solid stone. Alright, the Exchange Hotel. Wonder if that was rocking back in the day. Early 1900s, that photo. Would you have a beer in there, John? <laughs> no, I'm not going to go in there. Cool. Looks like I'd imagine there'd be cellars because it goes quite deep under. Store the good stuff. <laughs> Front door. Front door. Hardy and Farina in 1880. Hardy Town. So 1889 and 37. Yeah. were always available at a weekly rate of $2.25. Mutton was the standard item on the menu. Yum. <laughs> and publicans tried to maintain a sense of decorum. Guests were expected to rise and dress for breakfast. Serviettes were standard in the dining room. <laughs> now it's like singlets and thongs, isn't it? <laughs> 